to the People Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of September 29th, 2020. I apologize for my uh, late uploading of this video. I was watching the, the presidential debates, watching Biden basically kick Trump's butt because Biden wasn't falling for Trump's insults as well as Trump's lies, but that's a different topic. Today on uh, our stimulus package, we find out that uh, Nancy Pelosi and Stephen Mnuchin were sp spoke for about 50 minutes this morning, talking about the new updated Heroes Act, and agreed to talk more tomorrow about it as well. And the funny thing is, is the new revised Heroes Act is longer than the old Heroes Act. What I mean is, basically, the new revised Heroes Act is 2,152 pages long. The old Heroes Act was 1,854 pages long. And the new revised one comes in at $2.2 trillion, where the old one came in at $3.4 trillion. So we basically dropped $1.2 trillion in the differential of the acts. And basically, I don't think the Republicans even have a stomach. The $2.2 trillion act is where we're just going to say it's too expensive, too much money. The new late, uh, hold on here. Now, now let's talk about the Heroes Act. I'm, I'm just going to give you a brief overview of all the information I found out about what's inside it, and I would I would actually appreciate your comments to see to you tell me if you t t think that the new Heroes Act needs most of the stuff in it, or if most of it's, most of it's just fluff. Because I think some of it's fluff. I mean. Let's put it this way. It has $392 million in it for National Oceanic and At Atmospheric Associations. It has $29 million in it for, for National Cemetery Associations. There is a $359 million tax credit for implementation of additional payments to individuals. Okay, I'll get into that in a bit here. Because that that's, sort of sounds like there's more money in, in it for the people, right? But three hundred and fifty nine million dollars isn't even enough to that'd be basically enough to give every America on this pl in America basically about two dollars at best. But I guess I'll get that I'll cover that in a bit to what that actually is. There is a hundred million dollars for assistance for uh multi state transportation agencies that transport uh passengers and cargo. There is one billion dollars for the community development financial institution. For economic support and recovery in distressed communities. Okay, now back on to the three hundred fifty nine million that was in there for the um, tax credit. Actually, what that really is is the three hundred fifty nine million is actually additional money for the IRS. It's not a tax credit, so basically, it doesn't concern us. It only goes to IRS. And let's see here, what else we got here for you. There is a second stimulus check in it. Guaranteed another twelve hundred dollars for each qualifying adult and five hundred dollars for each dependent regardless of age and also no limits mentioned so basically I guess you can have as many dependents as possible. Um let's see here. Uh, unemployment, there will be six hundred dollars per week, retroactive from September sixth sixth, sorry, and would end on January thirtieth, two thousand twenty one. Um, food assistance pro programs, they would get $10 billion. And for the housing, there would be $50 billion to help low-income renters at, at risk of becoming homeless, of homelessness, basically. $20 million, $21 billion for state, territories, and tribes to assist struggling homeowners, as well as $4 billion in tenant-based rental assistance. State and local government assistance. Well, what Pelosi went down on that one. She actually won 916 billion, but she's now settled down to 436 billion. <clears throat> 436 billion for state and local government assistance. There's a 75 billion dollar for COVID testing, tracing, and isolation measures. There is also $13.5 billion in it for economic relief for airports, $2.4 billion for Amtrak, $15 billion in it for the post office. Pelosi went down from $25 billion to $15 billion. 
1.3 billion for FEMA, which basically consists of the fact that we drained the disaster relief fund of 44 billion dollars. 1.3 billion dollars doesn't really seem like a lot. There will also be 50 billion for a small business, struggling small business owners. And basically, Republicans, there's going to be a lot of things Republicans don't like about this bill. First thing and for, foremost is the price tag, $2.2 trillion. They're not going to like that at all. I guarantee it. They're also not going to like the $1.5 billion for prisoner, prisons, prisoners, and ex-prisoners for second chance programs and stuff like that. They're not going to want to endorse second chance programs. <clears throat> Republicans will also not like the $357 million for the Violence Against Women's programs. They won't like the $50 million for the Environmental Justice Grants. What is an Environmental Justice Grant? I mean, what, you go kill a tree and they charge you with murder? I mean, come on. They need to be more specific about what some of the stuff is. I mean, this is a, I mean, trust me, this is a huge act. I mean, there's a lot in it. And like I said, I mean, they, they really, the Republicans are going to see this act and they're going to agree with some of the stuff inside it, but not all of it. They're going to see most of it as being fluff. I mean, they're going to see the $1.5 billion for the prisons, prisoners, and ex-prisoners prisoners for a second chance programs as Pelosi's fluff, which isn't really going to help out Pelosi at all. They're going to, and I don't, I don't know why they have a, they'd have a problem with um, programs that are supposed to help out with violence against women, because they should have those programs actually seem to be working pretty well to actually teach the women to help themselves and because there's there's a few men out there I've actually met a few of them that are actually complete and total jerks especially when it comes to ladies and to teach these ladies how to defend themselves against such individuals so they can kick their butts or basically give them a more stronger mental strength as well as a uh, emotional stability Helps out a lot. But uh, I'm still stuck on the $50 million for the environmental justice grants. I mean, really? I mean, what was an environmental justice grant really going to do? I mean, I mean, how can the environment basically require justice against us or vice versa? I mean, it's not like the tree's going to fall in our house and we can sue a tree. I mean, does it bring the lot adage up? If a tree falls in a forest, do you hear it? And if you do, will it sue you? <laughs> so I couldn't, I couldn't resist that. I mean, now it's also, as far as my notes go, I am actually on a new page, a new book. My old book, let's see, I got like two and a half pages right here. My old book is completely full. All the way dating back from 7-4-2020. I actually had notes going back further, further than that. I also have videos going back further than that from like when they first came out of the Heroes Act before they revised it to make it longer and add a lot more fluff to it, even at a smaller price tag. But those videos are actually earlier on my YouTube channel. If you want to check those out, please be free welcome to. And like I said, I mean, hopefully something gets done. I mean, either they're going to pass the um, March to Common Grounds Act or they're going to laugh at it and not pass Plosies either. So... As it looks, there probably might not be a, a stimulus package deal happening or a stimulus check happening until probably after the elections, at best guess. I mean, I'm, I could be wrong. I mean, they said that they're supposed to be negotiating on the stimulus packages no later than the 2nd of, this, of October, which is Friday. So, oh, don't, I can't also forget... We also need them to talk about the, the government funding to, so we don't get shut down. I mean, we haven't heard anything on whether the Senate has actually voted on that yet and passed it or not. But as soon as I find out about that, I will also be more than happy to let you guys know. So until next time, you guys have a fabulous Tuesday. Please stay safe out there. And remember, we're all in this together. You have a great evening.